Hello everyone and welcome to Highlight Lighting Tutorials. So today we're going to set up and connect the Philips Hue bridge to our Highline Zigbee controller. So depending on whether you have an Apple or Android device, you will first need to download the Philips Hue application from your respective Play Store or App Store. So let's go ahead and download the application, which should take maybe a couple of uh, seconds or a minute or two depending on your um, Wi-Fi connection or your data connection. Now, while the application is downloading, you can go ahead and unbox your Philips Hue bridge if you haven't done so already. Okay, so now as you can see, you have your power input and your network input. So firstly, go ahead and plug in and power your Hue bridge. From there, you can go ahead and connect Hue bridge to your router with the provided network cable. Then you'll be looking to a free blue light, which means you're ready to go. From there, open up your Philips Hue application and that should be automatically searching for Hue bridges around you. Good. Now go ahead and set up the Hue bridge. Go onto your Hue bridge and press the big button to complete the setup. The Hue bridge should take maybe a couple of seconds to connect and now it is connected. We can now connect the Zigbee controller to the Hue bridge. So tap the three little dots on the top right, tap light setup, then tap add light. We now have to set the Zigbee controller into pairing mode to connect to the Hue bridge. Let's go to our Zigbee controller and let's press the program button five times to set it into pairing mode and the light should intermittently flash to signify that it's ready to be paired. Now you can go back to the application and tap search. Now the Hue bridge should automatically find the ZB controller and name it as Hue color light one or maybe light two. You can, remain, you can rename the light afterwards of course and that's all done. So let's just test the Hue bridge just to confirm. So now you can go ahead and create a new room and you can just um, make sure to add the light that you have just um, paired to the room. So we just have to tick the hue color light one to make sure to pair it with the room. As you can see in the living room, we have one light and now we can just go ahead and test the light in itself. You can change the light to maybe, I don't know, reddish or purple. Then you can go ahead and change the light to maybe green. You can also switch back to a warm white if you'd like to. And you can also um, adjust the brightness of the light to um, set your preferable light brightness. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.